And let's, and, and another thing with that is that, I'll, you know, in business, this is just the reality that people don't talk about. And I'm always saying on this show, it's always how to Amazon or, you know, I'm a tough love I'm a tough love girl. I'm going to hug and a slug. I'm going to tell you how it yeah. is and I'm going to hug you and get you through it. Um, right. But it's not, you know, can't be without those hard things. And the, re the reality is with the hard conversations is that we've had to push our way to the table. And that's okay mm -hmm. because no one yeah. else is going to do it for us. No one yeah. else is going to knock on those doors and say, hi, remember me? I can speak mm -hmm. here. Here's my speaker role. Here's my thing. Here's my 20 years of experience. Maybe now you'll listen. Like, yeah. you know, it's like those sort of things. But at the same time, while that feels kind of yucky personally, it's also like no one else will advocate for you no. more than you and no. people what you know you have the confidence to just say hey i belong at this table and here's what i offer and here's what i have and being okay with being rejected rejection is part of business ups no. and downs and rejection is going to come i will never forget the first time way back in 2014 or 2015 when i was really just starting and someone reached out and um she started the conversation and i was really excited to be maybe invited to this thing and then she's like well how big is your audience and i told her at that time and she's like no thanks she's like i'll come back when you have xxx and i like cried for a few hours and i was just yeah. like I i'm just working so hard and what's going on and someone else was like it's okay just pay your dues if yeah. she doesn't want you somebody else will rejection's part totally. of the business but i still remember that first time someone's like you're they flat, flat out said you're not good enough for what we're doing <laughs> totally like, oh yeah gosh. but i i think pushing past that like you said is it's so easy to go down that rabbit hole of thinking like poor me, this is so terrible, this is so yeah. awful. And it happens, like we all go through those moments. But then there's this transition where you're like, you know what, like, I'm going to keep keep striving for the yes, mm -hmm. the right people are going to want me to speak, the right people are going to want me to be a part of their community and show what I have to offer. And that's yeah. really what you want to build alignment with anyway, right? Absolutely. So, yeah. You don't want to work with someone who's not interested in working with you or collaborating or even right. um, I will even say this happened to me in recent weeks, um, working in a way that's a win win for both. I've had right. I have many, many conversations with lots of owners and a lot of different service providers and things like that. And, you know, I've had several recent approaches to where like, well, this is what we, that you can do for us. And I say, OK, yeah. great. Where's the where's the co collab thing here? Like, well, we don't have anything for you at this time, but totally. we want you yeah. to do all these things for us. I'm like, okay. Um, and being okay with, with looking at what is best for you. And I think as women, mm -hmm. or at least in my upbringing or background, it was always taught that like, maybe your opinion or your, your input is either secondary or not as valuable. And so you right. need to own the fact that yes, it is. And if it's not a good for, fit for you, it's not selfish to say no. It's actually totally. self-protection to say, you know what? Yeah. I think I'm going to pass on this or I'm going to wait. Waiting is the hardest part for me. I get excited right. and I'm like, okay, I want to take action now. Yeah. And I'm like, now I have a 24 hour rule. Totally. Great. 24 hour rule today. As a matter of fact, I'm invoking that in this moment. I can't wait till 9 a.m. tomorrow so I can send an email of what I want yeah. to do. Um, but I still, I'm, I'm, I gave myself the boundary because I've said yes to so many things in the moment and yeah. then think them through later and go, <laughs> that was not the best idea. So I give myself this 24 hours to be like, okay, I can be excited. I can go the ups and the downs, and then I can make a decision and own it. So totally. I've, that's a boundary I've set for myself. At least. Yeah. I've experienced that a little bit too, with um, partnerships and things like that, where you're mentioning people are kind of looking at what they can, what you can do for them. And I think what you just said is just, it sums it up perfectly is in, in any business, any entrepreneurship um, journey, Amazon, whatever it might be, is learning when it's not okay for you, you know? Mm -hmm. And like I said, kind of paying attention to those feelings. Like in the beginning, when you first start something, you're so excited to be part of this thing and this machine, um, but you have to really hone in on what is it, ben what is it benefiting you? Like not to sound selfish, but at a certain point you have to claim that. Otherwise you're going to get walked all over, right? Mm -hmm. So yeah, saying no when you mean no, just get comfortable with that discomfort, lean into it, get more comfortable because that's going to help you build confidence for the future.